Another video update on our garden. It's uh, July 24th, which is my lovely wife's birthday. And as you can see, it's like jungle mode here, okay? So everything's doing pretty good. Uh, we've been getting lots of cucumbers. And again, that's cucumbers growing in a straw bale. Uh, and our straw bale experiments, basically everything grows as good in straw bales as it grows in the ground so far. We're finally starting to get some fruits set on our peppers. Um, as a matter of fact, Somewhere in here, ah, yeah, yeah, one enormous pepper. <laughs> so we've got one enormous pepper and a few little medium sized ones and one lonesome little butternut squash. Squash plants have suddenly put on a new spurt of growth. I don't know if that's gonna amount to any new fruit or not, or if I should just go ahead and pull these. But actually they look pretty good as far as health goes still no green beans wall of green bean vines we're starting to get a few flowers i think it's been too hot they've been dropping their blooms uh here i think is the main event the tomato height where the tomatoes are doing pretty good you can see a few splashes of color still we're just getting cherry tomatoes um we're about to get our first ripe actual tomato sometime in the next few days. Um, but uh, the main thing is, as you can see, we have still not had a significant amount of disease in here with blight. Although, as you can see from this plant, I've defoliated it. Uh, because I'm just ruthlessly pulling leaves if they show even the littlest chance that they're getting diseased. Um, as you can see, the plants are all grow overgrown, but the weed fabric is still doing great. Um, that's our last planting of squash which should start blooming about or start bearing about the middle of september and these are our last planting of cucumbers which should also start bearing uh, about the middle of september more or less but that's it for the main garden and this is our pumpkin patch which is massive. Uh, those are, I think, Big Max variety. And they have gone from zero to, I don't know, not quite basketball. In a little over a week, we have tons of these little things that we're calling Jordan's fancy little pumpkins. Uh, that's a very prolific plant. I bet there's 20 or more already and it's still putting on fruit. They're scattered about all over in here. As you can see, the core of the pumpkin patch is getting a little bit of disease, and but nothing really serious. I think this is just kind of normal. The older leaves just do that eventually they all do it it's uh <laughs> more of i think the same variety but i'm not sure it's fuzzy he has no respect for the pumpkin vines hey got and that's it for our garden again make a video of yours send me a link i'd love to see it